Welcome to our State of the Nation for Technical for June. This is our monthly um, overall awareness and um, training and um, staffing industry um, update for the month. And um, I do this presentation um, every month for about 30 minutes plus. Gets us started um, and gives us a brief of the um, staffing state and um, some technical ongoings here in Seattle and uh, within the nation. And so here we go. This is today's agenda. Um, I've got an overall um, technology staffing summary. Um, one of those things in, included in the summary is a survey um, from Fordyce Letter, which is a um, staffing um, and recruiting really um, industry um, insights um, outpost. Um, and they did a survey of 900 hiring managers and recruiters in the IT um, hiring sector. Um, and some of those pieces of information are interesting. Probably not so um, um, surprising, though. Um, top five most challenging skill sets are included in that. And also, we've got good morning. Um, job skill trends data from Indeed. Um, we've got education and awareness, and the topic and event presentation is on the cloud, which we're hearing more and more and more about in, um, per, in our personal lives as well as from our clients and how that might drive. Um, some of the conversations that we're having with our clients, um, not only the software developers, but also um, software development companies, but also <laughs> all of the other organizations which are going to start putting their um, information out on this thing called the cloud. So we're going to go over what is the cloud, extent and relevant news, rumors, a um, couple blog posts, and some information that I thought you guys should have. And I'll send this out right before I leave this room today so that I do not forget to um, get it in front of all of you right away. And then, of course, we'll send out the um, revised edition with the video that Jake's putting together. And uh, we've got upcoming events and um, of notes of note to in the next uh, month in July that are coming up that I think would be good places for um, business development and um, networking. Um, and then we have a little quiz, which is, as we all know, also known as where you paying attention. Okay. So um, this information was taken from the Fordyce letter, which is, um, as I mentioned, a um, recruiting um, insight letter and um, outpost on the internet, um, as well as they have a um, print version um, that gives um, a lot of information about metrics, thought leaders, um, where the recruiting industry is currently and going and where it's been and what we should be doing to um, make ourselves better and improve and so on and so forth. And it's a lot like the staffing industry analysts. However, it's a little more geared towards, I'd say, recruiting versus running a staffing program from a client perspective. Um, they all said that um, unemployment in tech continues to fall. We know that, that it's happening um, all over. Um, the country, and it's down to about 4% nationally in the tech, IT, classic tech sector. Um, so, again, we're talking to folks out there um, who just really don't know um, what's going on outside of maybe seeing news reports on CNN that the um, economy is falling apart, which it may or may not, but in the tech industry, um, folks are um, healthily employed and um, it's, it's tight. Um, <coughs> Hiring is expected to escalate, and so according to those 900 um, hiring managers, um, they 65% um, anticipated hiring more technology professionals in the second half of 2011 than in the preceding um, six months. Um, positions are staying open longer, so across the board, all these hiring managers and recruiters have responded that um, time to fill a position is lengthening, 63% of those attribute the talent shortages um, as the primary reason, which compares to just 46% that felt that way as the major factor um, six months ago. So across the board, people are um, singing the same tune, whether you're in the east, midwest, south, or the west. Um, salaries are expected to start um, reflecting these conditions. We talked a lot about this um, last month. Um, at some point there's going to be a tipping point. You know, there still hasn't been that um, um, push to raise salaries and bill rates necessarily, but their hiring managers and recruiters um, in this survey are all expecting that to start to um, wane and the pressure is building, which will force that to happen. Um, simply supply and demand is not um, 
hitting on both uh, hitting in the way that's going to dictate keeping salaries and um, bill rates the same um, as they have been, and they're simply going to have to go up if the jobs becoming more challenging to fill those positions, and if they want to uh, bring folks in to fill their important roles. So. Um, nearly half of those hiring managers and recruiters noted, noted that um, that was um, going to be happening um, versus only 29% six months ago. So almost double. Um, so the tipping point seems to be coming. It's indicated in the survey. Um, they're beginning to lean outside for help, which is great for us. Um, one third of the corporate recruiters anticipate tapping outside resources to find um, tech talent more frequently in the second half than in the um, previous six months. So these were the most um, difficult technical um, skill sets or positions to fill today by region. As you can see, you know, Java across the board, we've got mobile and .NET. Um, the, real, the, real, the only real um, differences here, of course, in the Midwest, um, for some reason, SharePoint was thrown in there. I guess um, that's probably driven by um, a few large companies um, and a number of hiring managers in those companies and recruiters within those organizations that are implementing that and they're having a hard time. Do large manufacturing companies use more SharePoint or who actually uses I, you it? You know, I'm not sure buy. exactly it's who, Starbucks but it's across, the, it's across the board, I think. It's pretty mm -hmm. predominant yes. now, but you can see security clearance in the east, which is not surprising, government. being the government. Um, and then Ruby on Rails um, here in the west, um, user interface um, framework for development that, uh, that we're seeing more and more of. Um, and then, of course, DBAs are there. They're always there somewhere. But I was um, interested to see that they were number five versus yeah, right. So we've looked at the um, job trending data from Dice and Monster the past couple months. Um, and we've, they've you know, provided me with all kinds of great information. Um, but this month, I dug a little bit deeper and identified that Indeed um, has a number of um, areas of metrics and data that I thought was really interesting. And um, also, I, I just for um, kicks, I, put, I, I ran a search on, um, I built a little search and pulled in a graph from um, COBOL. And you can see the graph goes the other way. Mm -hmm. And then I did some kind of crazy stuff. Um, also, I did some searches for ice cream truck delivery. And of course, it goes like this seasonally. And um, <laughs> so it's a really cool tool. You can kind of play with it and, and figure out how you want to, what you want to pull, but pretty interesting. Anyway, I wanted to show you this, and um, you can see that it's predominantly um, in the UI and um, web dev space, as well as um, mobile technologies, social networking, and um, cloud and virtualization. So HTML5, of course, is um, you can see how these graphs work. And is I that can, the latest and greatest HTML? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So, it, so basically, um, it is um, the latest and greatest HTML, and it also is um, something that allows um, it allows for um, convergence of HTML and XHTML, XML, and some other features. So it's bringing some of all this stuff together and also making it work on the mobile platforms um, as well. And so a lot of our UI um, needs. Um, so I went. I wanted to go back real quick. I'm not sure how to go back, but you notice that virtualization in the cloud um, was um, number nine and ten there. And something that um, I think that you guys will um, recognize is um, becoming a bigger and bigger thing. It's, it's something that um, it it might seem a little um, murky. Um, I'll resist the opportunity to go with the pun and say cloudy, but um, I think that I would be um, disappointed if you didn't. I know, I know. <laughs> I. Uh, I, it's, it's a concept that sometimes people um, are trying to figure out and understand, but it doesn't need to be. And that's kind of what we're, uh, why I thought we'd focus on it a little bit today, because it's going to become um, very predominant in um, your personal lives and our, and our clients' lives. And um, definitely we should start um, seeing our clients demanding um, a lot more virtualization is um, code word for a lot of this stuff. Um, and um, you'll start to notice that the cloud is um, mentioned a lot. You um, might have seen that um, uh, Amazon, or rather I, uh, Apple put out their um, iCloud um, announcement two weeks ago. Um, Steve Jobs um, mentioned that they're going to um, have their own cloud service. They're building a gigantic 
server farm to handle all the data so that you do not have to keep your photos and your iTunes on your PC or on your phone taking up storage anymore. So what's happening is um, these devices, PCs, um, mobile phones, um, iPads, laptops are just simply going to be communication devices with browsers and you'll be able to access all this stuff somewhere else um, where it's held for you. So, and there's some issues around that and there's a lot of um, nervousness around that concept too, but all the big guys are playing in it. Um, you, you might have noticed also that just yesterday uh, Microsoft announced Office 365, which is a cloud-based um, Office Suite um, offering. So it's all happening um, very fast, and um, it's it, you know it's going to be. How a, does that work? So then, how would that work? How would it work? How would that work? Like, how does that, that suite work in the cloud? I mean, what's that's that what we're going to talk about actually okay. right now. So, like, how does that work? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to talk about what the cloud is, yeah. and um, Betsy, I thought um, she she just um, went to this presentation, this yeah. networking event last week, so she's going to give a quick presentation um, on just that kind of stuff, and then we can have some questions and answers.